in this part of the course, we're gonna take a look at setting up our new document or a project to start creating our screens. Now, as you can see, I already have my document set up and I'm gonna show you how I got that. So if I come over here and if I click on new, that's gonna open up this dialog box for me, which shows me all my recent files that I have over here and also the various presets which I can use to choose my document size. Now we have versions for the, the iPhone, the iPad, for web, and also a custom size that you can choose. Now if I come over here and click on this arrow mark, you can see we have different versions and different dimensions. So this is for the OnePlus 6 and 7 Plus. This is just for the OnePlus 6, 7, the iPhone 5 and the iPhone SE, and also the Android Mobile. We also have different versions for the iPad, the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface Pro 4. Um, for the web, we have different dimensions for the web as well, and also a custom size which you can click and choose if you want. Now, I'm gonna go and choose the Android mobile one, uh, you know, just cause I want it. Now, as, as, as soon as I click on that, it's gonna open up this new dialog box for me, which is basically another screen uh, where I can just maximize and start working. So I'm just gonna close that up and uh, let's come back over here. All right. And apart from that, uh, you can also see we have these things called as UI kits, resources and a basic beginners tutorial, which you can click, which is going to give you a brief understanding of how Adobe XD works. Now, if I click on the UI kits, if I just click on Apple iOS, that's going to open up a brand new window, which is basically another document or a project, as you can say. And if I maximize it and press control zero on my keyboard, which is going to fit all the artboards on into one screen, you can see that these are predetermined and pre ready to use um, screens, which have icons, numbers, anything. So instead of creating them on your own, you can just drag and drop them into your project. And that, that's going to reduce a lot of time for you. Now, these are basically for the Apple iOS. So if you're creating an, an app uh, user interface for an Apple device, uh, so then this is something which you would want to use. Now, let me just close this up and come over here to new again. And uh, let's click on Google material. So basically, this is going to be for the, the Android uh, app or Android phones. So as you can see over here, we have a lot of versions. We have typography, lists, cards, buttons, icons. Uh, themes uh, which is really useful so let me just hold on alt and click on and screw use my mouse scroll key which I can then use to scroll and as you can see we have a lot of these different cool and amazing ready to use templates uh, to create your designs let me close this up let's show you the last one which is going to be for Windows phone uh, pretty sure not a lot of you are going to be using this but you can use all this as inspiration or give you a little bit of ideas also in case you're creating something so we have the media player uh, the hubs the progress bar uh, very interesting and very nice and you can also see we have for the desktop uh, if you want to create a cool user interface for your desktop, you can do that. And also the various sizes of the phone. So let me just close this up. Great. So let's come back over here. So all you got to do is type in whatever dimensions you want in case you're using a custom design for a client. You can just dub that in and just click on open. Now let me just close up. Now once you click on that, this is what you're going to get. And that's basically how to set up your document. So I'll see you guys in the next video.